All right, good morning. First video of 2019. This is actually our second take of this, but the first one was an unlisted video that we did live. Nobody was watching. <laughs> and I was like, why is only one person watching? And it was us on the live chat on the tablet. So, you know, we, we fixed it. So oh, here I'm we are. People are watching now. <laughs> Hang on, let me see. Let's see if we're actually here. Oh, people are on. Good. We know that there's people here. I was like, uh, nobody's commenting. Maybe everybody's still asleep. We're like, so, one person's watching. That's weird. <laughs> we, I'll give you a brief rundown of what we're doing. We're going to be talking about goal setting. We're going to be talking about editorial calendars. We're going to be making a custom DIY planner because you know us. We can't buy anything off the shelf. They didn't have anything we liked anyways. Um, we could have probably ordered a wooden uh, binder or a cardboard three ring binder to do this with, but we did not plan ahead. No, we was last minute. We're like, hmm, what do we want to do for the video tomorrow morning? Like, let's do this. And then we went shopping. At 10 o'clock <laughs> last night at Walmart. So what we came up with, I looked online and I found that people take the little hooks that you get, the binding hooks, and they can make, and we'll, hopefully it holds up well. These are, what are they called? Book rings. And they make wooden binders. So Zeb just cut this out of underlayment, right? Yes. So this is just five millimeter underlayment. You can get it in a little two by four sheet. If you don't need the whole sheet to do the four by eight foot sheet to do a little project like this. And if you don't have a way to cut it, they can actually cut it down for you at Home Depot. I just did 12 inches long to fit my 11 and a half inch paper by nine and a quarter inches wide to fit or eight and a half by 11 is what size this standard paper is. So that's what we're using. So it's 12 by nine and a quarter inches wide. And they'll totally cut it down for your Home Depot. We sanded it, we rounded the edges with a sander, and then Zeb just used his drill to drill out holes in here. Another thing that you could do is buy a three ring binder off of Amazon that's made out of cardboard because that will accept the paint really well. Or they do make like wooden handmade binders that are a little bit more expensive. But if you've got a few tools or a friend with tools, you can make these very simply. And they're, these are both painted with DIY paint in Bohemian Blue. Yep. Boho Blue is what we used on these. And it's like this fun, almost peacock, greenish blue, but it's dark. <laughs> in our uh, channel members group, I asked people their goals for 2019. Um, if you don't know about our channel membership group, we'll be talking it, uh, about it a little bit later. But Katie Scott said that she wanted to use colors she hadn't used before. And Bohemian Blue I have used, but not a ton. So I thought that would be a good way to start out the year with a color I haven't used. Plus, I saw somebody used a similar color with the IOD transfer. This one is the, I can't even say this, Flora Paracensis. How do you say that? We'll go with what you said. Flora Paracensis. <laughs> and it looks really great against this really bold color. Plus, this is going to be a book that Zeb and I are both using together because it's going to be our business family planner that we write things down and keep things track of. So it needs to be dark because Zeb's hands are often dirty. So are yours. From, yeah. <laughs> from being outside. So these are painted and they are dry. And I'm going to go over the other supplies that we're going to be using and then we will get right into showing you how to use that transfer. So Zeb asked me to wait, wait, out. wait, before we get into this, I just wanted to point out, look at all the uh, group members, the, uh, the channel members that are, you, you guys have the little bird next to your name in chat. And if you want to use, um, the custom emojis, you just type in JRV in caps and then it'll give you an option, like which one you want to type out. And that's how you get your emoji. So that's our, our channel members, which we're going to talk about membership in a little bit. Cause I know you guys have some questions and we wanted to answer those for you. So, um, and it's brand new. Like we just unleashed it. Like this is the first video since it's December been December 31st at like 10 PM. It went live. So this is our first video since yeah. it's been out. So first things first, we print it out. We have a laser printer. I'll drop the link for it below. If you're going to be printing out a ton of paper, I would suggest a laser printer. It's much less expensive per sheet. This is like a hundred and something pages. We bought it on Etsy. We bought the actual calendar. It's a monthly and daily calendar and I wanted the daily because I want more room to like write stuff down for editorials and whatnot. And the reason why we decided to go with um, a print it yourself calendar is because we wanted to be able to, and also like making it ourselves, it's because we want to be able to add and subtract pages as needed. 
and some of these other calendars just don't do what we needed them to do. I think that whole calendar printout was like $6.99. It's for personal use only. So if you're wanting to make these to resell, then you would need to find a commercial use printable. But this yeah. one's a personal use only for $6.99. We tried to find a free one. <laughs> and there were just no options that were really getting us excited about. Yeah, so for $6.99, so. something showed up in green there. What's that? We got a new member, a new Marty member. Bailey is a new channel member. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's, what else do we have? Oh, we bought pens, some zebra pens to get started. Dividers so we can divide it by the months. Katie Scott says, I need to put something similar together with pockets for receipts and invoices. So we were thinking about adding invoices to this and then we're like, no, 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 it's gonna be, like the book will be this thick by the end of the year. Yeah, ain't nobody had time for that. We'll, we'll come up with some ideas for receipts later. I'm thinking we'll probably just get like a two drawer filing cabinet and we'll have folders in that. It won't be as pretty. And then we got sheet protectors because inevitably throughout the year, I will like start a new workout or a new, eating plan or budgeting and I want to add specialty calendars that I find a lot of people have free printables for that. So sheet protectors are great because you can put anything you want and you can add, I usually put one or two per month and then I can just put them in as I need them. And then Zeb and I were kind of obsessed with this, uh, what is this called? Grid? So this is just graph paper, but the reason Ooh. I like this, we got this at Target. We got a new, another new member, welcome Denise North. Okay, so the reason I like this is because it's got like a plastic reinforcement right here and these triangle ones help it keep from ripping out these triangle tabs. So hopefully we'll see how it goes, but this is just the five star um, graph paper, the double strength, and we'll see how it works. I think it'll be really good. And if we need to tear something out and be like, hey, let's take this down to Home Depot and see what works, it's perforated right here so you can you can yeah, still so we're going to include a few of those in every month too. I'm hoping that our rings are big enough to like hold all this. Yeah. We might have to get bigger rings. I'm or, Ow, you just need me. Oh, I'm sorry. We got another new member, Shan, Shan, can, Shannon Williams. Williams, I can't see it. You're closer. You're going to have to. This is attention. fun. This is like a fun new thing. <laughs> all right. So these are the book rings. I'm concerned that this is not going to be enough room for all that paper. All right. Let's get started on the transfer. Now that we show you. Oh, and we also got some card stock too. We might include these in there. I don't know. So what we're hoping is by the end of the year, we've got a lot of fun things and we can keep track of our goals. Because as you guys know, we are not always the most organized. We're going to try better. If, if we ever set any resolutions, that's our 2019 resolution is to actually be more organized with our goals that we've already set. Because we always have set goals and things, but... Sometimes we'll be like, oh, what was that again? We, we didn't actually write that down and keep track. <laughs> um, also, my goal is to be kind. To be kind. That's my Jamie, word. Be Jamie kind. has a be kind goal. Because sometimes I get grumpy, especially when I'm hungry. She can't I'm control hungry. the eye rolls sometimes. I feel like that's a good goal for me, too. Yeah, I feel like you're <laughs> less eye roll and more roar. All right, let me get the knife. Oh, can you pass me those scissors? I'm going to open yep. the transfer. All right, let's get to transferring and crafting. If you're just joining us and you're new to our channel, we'd love it if you subscribe. Um, and if you're wondering where you can purchase the Bohemian Blue or these transfers, we have a website, jamierayvintage.com. We carry these and ship worldwide. Now, I can't open that. I need you to open it. All right, looks like I'm down to about 10 pages on the punch. Yeah, we have a three-hole punch that I never use. Make sure you hole punch at the right spot or else they'll be all... A knife is probably best to open this transfer because they put the tape right on the little seam where the lid comes off. But if I ship them to you, that's where the shipping label goes to. All right. So when you're opening these, it's best to do them inside. I think I talked about this in a live video the other day. Oh, there's the applicator. And so they're two. The backer is no longer connected to it. They did this because it helps with the material that they've got. It helps you get the transfer on easier. But if you're out in the wind and you start cutting your transfer up and it blows away or blows all over your piece, you're you're out of luck because once you the backing is sticky on these. Let me see. Can you guys see yeah, this? Yeah. Did hole? you make sure that these are the same distance here as they're here? Um, the you right? just have to make sure that they're lined up. There is a top and a bottom. 
Oh. So here is the full transfer. We're obviously not going to use this whole thing on this little bitty binder. So we'll cut it up so that we can use more later. Yeah, we'll probably use the rest on the furniture at a different date. Can I see that paper? I just want to make sure I have right side up on this. I don't want to mess up. So you need to do it like this. That's how that goes. So this is the outside. This is the outside. Can you mean right like little eyes so you know that these are the insides? No, I just know this is the outside and this is the outside. Yep. Okay, so this is the front. This is the this top? Is, yep. Okay, so I like this. Here, let me make sure of that. <laughs> Let's double check. Since we're All right, live. so here, just do it like that. What? There you I go. am so confused as to what you're doing now. Don't worry about it. You just need to make sure that they're opposites, so front and back. But these are the insides where my you're thumbs sure. are. You're sure. Put the paper in there. Make sure the holes line up. The holes will line up. Just, it's, three, just, it's three hole punch. Deb, how many times have I? No. How many times have you not checked stuff and I was right? It happens. It happens pretty frequently. <laughs> So we're going to double check and just make sure our holes are all aligned. Okay, you're, that passes. So this is the front. Lena Lee says she doesn't see her little bird. Are you channel member on there? If you are, make sure you're logged into the right account that you signed up with. Okay, can we cut that out? And also, this whole channel membership thing is new to us, but also new to YouTube. So in the next few months, I'm sure things will get better and easier. It doesn't play as well with iOS as we might like, but we're working on it. Yep. We decided to... There's a, a link in the description of the announcement video, and I'll put a link in this video. Because if you have like an Apple product or you're using iOS as your web browser, um, like, a, like a Mac computer, it's gonna be like, oh no, you can't see the join button on the YouTube app. But the link will take you there. My whole thing is I wanted to go through YouTube just to make it simpler. I know a lot of people have done this and they've gone through their own website, but I wanted to, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, we got another new member, Kimberly Xanthus. I'm like cutting at a weird angle here. You know, Nikki Davidson 132 also joined. Um, crafting on television is not as easy as it might look. Okay, so we've cut this out. The paper is completely separate. It's just so that way the transfer does not stick to itself. If you have sanded, make sure that all sanding dust has been removed. And I feel like it's best to put these on pieces that are not already sealed so it's not slippery. It's got a nice grid system on it. Also, one of the things you're going to notice on the authentic IOD transfers, different from any other brand, is how thin the margin is. You used to really be able to see that like clear line around the edge, but it is like almost completely not noticeable on these. So you need to figure out where you're going to put it. I kind of want to do it like... You're going to do it at a little bit of an angle? A little bit of an angle, yeah. Is that the top or the bottom? Oh, I don't know. So hold on, wait for it. I think that we need to figure that out. Let's let's look again. So you you moved it. Okay, so that's the inside. <laughs> it's the hold paper. on, hold on, hold on. Put the paper on it. Hold on. Let's time out. Time out. All so right. you've moved them all around. <laughs> While we're doing this. Stop stop moving it. Okay. While <laughs> okay. we're just do it right there like that. Okay. And While we're this doing is this... the top. This is the top. While we're doing, can I say that? Yes, you can. While we're doing this, would you guys comment with what you would like to see on our channel in 2019? So we will come back to this and as we're filling in our editorial calendar, we will fill in ideas from you guys so we know what to film because we know what you want. Uh, new member, Jacqueline Bailey. Okay, so I'm laying this on here. I'm now committed. Where's the, the it's right here. Tool. So the applicator. The applicator. So you just push against this and it comes off, right? Yep. But wait, you yeah, need, to get, to, come off. You need need, to get the need, little bubble and, yeah, and so ride you, the you wave. Get, you get started and then you pull. I don't know. You do it. You're better than me. <laughs> you can here. just rub really hard or you can like ride the wave, which means you find almost like a little here. bubble and then you push up. I'll give it. you comments and I'll okay. see if we can find a wave to ride. You start out just kind of pressing fairly hard with it and then once you get to a certain point you can get like a little bubble underneath the edge here 
And it doesn't always work, but if you can find a bubble and ride that out and kind of push it along, that's going to be your best bet to get this done quickly. And all of these transfer, this transfer along with all of the new IOD transfers are in stock on our website, ready to ship. So we've shipped out a ton already and I have boxes and boxes of them in the basement. So I hope you love, uh, I hope you love the transfers cause we have a ton of them. <laughs> We'd love to see why you love IOD and your favorites, different places to use oh, them. Here, let That's me move the idea. camera so they we can see We will show that you all good. kinds of different ideas now that we have the transfers. Remember when we first got the stamps and we stamped all the things? Now that we have the transfers and molds, you're going to see us using all of them more often on our projects because we actually have them in stock and we're excited to use them. So that's also why I decided to do a transfer on this because I don't think that transfers are just for furniture. You can totally cut them up and use them on multiple projects and you can layer them. It would be really pretty to layer words over the top of this since there are some words on this. Or even just stamp over it. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah. So while he's doing this, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, um, the private member. What do we call it? Channel membership? Channel right? membership. Oh, wait, hang on though. I got a bubble going. I want to show them. Okay, we're going to show you the bubble and then I'll talk to you guys about channel membership because I know people still have some questions. All right, so right here, you can see it's a little bit lighter in color. Let me see if I can do it while I'm holding it. So I've got like a little air bubble on there and I can just kind of run that across now that it's, it's sticking and just work with that. And it's going to be hard with me holding it up right here. But just this lighter color right here where it's darker, that's my air pocket. And I'm going to push that out and the whole transfer will now go quite a bit quicker. Oh, Jack's here. Jack, they can't even see you because we have it We have it down here. He's saying hi. Here, here, go sideways like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last day of winter break for my kiddos. So they're all home today and Jack starts back at preschool again on Friday. They're excited. They have had a fun break. We haven't really done a lot, just vegged out, watched TV, ate way too much food. We went to a movie. We're not like those parents that do 80,000 things and have it all planned out, but maybe this year we'll have things we planned out. We got the plan going. We got the planner. Okay, so let's talk about membership group while Zeb is rubbing that transfer and getting Happy that put on our- Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, Jack. I can't see I you, Jack. <laughs> Go. I love you. Goodbye. Bye-bye now. Hey, Dad, we're live, so maybe don't be sending messages on your phone. Sorry, Big Jack is in the background. All right, so membership chat group. It is uh, $4.99 in American dollars. It translates different depending on where you're at. It's available to most countries, although not all. I'm not really sure how YouTube works that. And what we offer in the group is you get badges. So if you see anybody with a little bird, that means that they've been a member. And then it's going to change depending on how long you've been a member in the group. You get custom emojis that you can use on live videos. We even have one that says, I love junk, which that's kind of the fun stuff, but not the meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes is you're going to get a printable every month. You're going to get a chapter of our book, which we are currently working on. We have to have it up by the 5th. By the 5th is when you're going to get your stuff. Yeah, so, and that's our, that's our goal every month. Between the 1st and the 5th, you're going to get your printable, and you're going to get the chapter of the book. Then we're also going to schedule a a live members only video so that way we can answer more questions more one-on-one -on -one business coaching type things as well as people who don't own a business if they just want um, tips and tricks on how to decorate and things like that and then we'll also have a, at least one extra edited video every month with behind the scenes um, whatever our members are really asking for at the time we're going to try to create extra content and that's the minimum of what you're going to get for your $4.99 a month. But as the, the group grows and progresses, um, we are hoping to offer more than that. And the printables that we're offering, I'll show you this month's printable. Let me grab it. So while she's grabbing the printable, something that some people have been concerned with, um, our regular live videos. We're still doing the Wednesday morning lives like we're doing now. And we're still doing the Saturday night uh, thrift store hall lives. And then three edited videos through the week. We kind of slacked on the three edited videos over the holidays, but we're, we're going to be back on schedule with that. So everything she's saying is in addition to that, that you get extra. Yeah. So all of these items and all the extras you're going to get from us are going to be on the community tab. And if you go into Jamie Ray Vintage on YouTube and you hit community, you're going to see all of our public posts, but then there will be private members only posts. And that's where we will include the links to the printables as well as to um, 
the chapter that you're getting uh, we're gonna announce when the live video will come up we'll announce when extra videos for members only are up so that will all be on the community tab if you have any questions at all Caitlin's on here I'll have her drop her email her email address is customercare at jamierayvintage.com and we will help walk you through as much as possible if you have questions to help you out. But all that information is gonna be on the community tab and if you're a member, then you will see the members only. And here is this month's printable. It's a custom watercolor done by Veb. And it's gonna change and vary from month to month. All of these printables go on a website that our members have access to and we provide them with a password. The printables are available for up to 100 prints. That just allows us to make sure that you're not taking your artwork and selling it commercially, but we wanna make sure that you can print it enough times that you can use it to frame and make product to sell, to decorate your homes, presents, whatever. I feel like 100 is a really good number there. And we're also making them sizes that you can either frame yourself or that you can have, you could just buy frames. Like this one, um, this one here is an eight by 10, but we edited it. So the one that is now available is eight by 10 meaning that you can just go buy a standard frame with an eight by 10 mat and print it out. Or you can create your own custom um, frame for it. Another option for these, which would be really cool, is to print them out in a large size and Mod Podge them on a piece of furniture. Sometimes the printables might be some hand lettering. Sometimes they'll be from Zeb, sometimes from me. They're gonna change. We're also thinking about doing some good photography and editing that. We really wanna create a variety of things for you. And the plan now is to leave them up on the paid member site indefinitely. That may change, but you're at least gonna have access to it for that month. So I would suggest downloading it onto your computer or device, what have you. So. That's what you're gonna get with a membership. And we are hopefully, as the group grows, I told Zeb last night, one of our goals with having this group is to possibly take that money, reinvest it into having somebody edit our videos, which allows us to have more time to create more content, to create more things for the group and grow from there. So like long-term goals are to use that revenue to reinvest. So we're super excited and we hope that this group is something that will inspire you to decorate your home, or grow your business, as well as be worth your time and money. Because we know that, especially in this day and age, time and money are super valuable, and we just wanna make sure we're offering things that you want. So that's it. Um, if you have questions, you can, oh, we got new members, Nancy Modal and Jan Worley. Thank you, we're excited about this. Um, yeah, if you have questions, like I said, you can email customercare at jamierayvintage.com. Caitlin is my customer care manager, and she is amazing. So, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> while I'm doing this, this is gonna take me a minute. I'm just trying to do it really nice and neat. That way when I seal it, it'll last all year. But um, let's talk a little bit about why we don't necessarily make resolutions and why we set goals instead. Uh, they're kind of similar, but different. I don't know. I feel like a resolution is I will <clears throat> not do this for sure, solid. And then once you break that, then you're done. And I feel like a goal is something that you're constantly moving towards, right? Like you're, and when you set a goal, you have to have a plan. It's not like a resolution is I will do or I will not do this. And to me, a goal is I want to achieve this. And then you break it up. Um, you break it up into like months, weeks, what have you. That's how I like to set my goals. Yep. <clears throat> and you put like, you put checks and balances on a goal too. Like let's say by April. So I would like to have, we were hoping to have 100,000 subscribers on our channel. YouTube changed the algorithm, things changed, and now we're at 83,000, which we're still very happy with, but we were going for 100,000 by December, which is come and gone, and we're still at 83,000. But I have a goal, so we've, we've amended that, and now we've set it for April. We'd like to have 100,000 subscribers by April. And so how are we going to meet that goal? How are we going to achieve that? You know, things like that. That's the kind of things we set. Um, and, and by setting up this planner, we're hoping to do, like I mentioned, an editorial calendar. If you're new to the blogging, vlogging, content creating, digital media world, an editorial calendar is simply planning ahead, saying, okay, I'm going to create this content at this time. One of the things that's really important for us is that we're creating videos ahead of schedule, meaning if we're creating videos for Valentine's Day, you're gonna see those in the next few weeks. 
and we want to create it in enough time that people can watch the videos and then implement it in their life. Likewise, spring, Easter, those are, videos are going to happen a month to two months before the actual event. That way we can allow our followers and subscribers to really start planning because people are not really decorating for Easter like two days before Easter. They're starting to buy their supplies and get ready way in advance and also thinking about what's changing. So you're going to see a lot of organizing, planning, goal setting in the next few weeks. That would have been better if we would have planned <laughs> two months ago, but we didn't. <clears throat> So that's why we're hoping to do this. Also, we work with certain brands and having an editorial calendar will allow us to schedule the post and um, reviews and things that we're doing for those brands. We'd like to do more brand deals in 2019 um, to, to bring more things to our followers and subscribers. So that's kind of what an editorial calendar is. Also, just this is not just for business. Our personal and business life are like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they don't, we don't really have separate yeah, they There's are, no separation are right now. way combined. So this book will also include our weekly meal planners. I'm going to put in our children's events. Our oldest boy is in wrestling. Then football will start. I have a daughter who has basketball starting up. And then my um, oldest daughter is going to be trying out for cheer. So we've got all of those things. And then my um, second to youngest son will start football in August. So we've got all those things going on. Plus choir, um, church involvement. Zeb is in charge of the young men in our area, um, ages 14 to 14 and 15. And I am actually in charge of uh, the young women ages 12 to 18. I'm in uh, the presidency and I cover for our church and it covers like eight different congregations. So I've got a lot of meetings. Um, I've got camp in the summer that I've got to go to. So this is going to hopefully help keep that all under control. We'll see. <laughs> At least we'll have somewhere where we can look, where we both know, like we were thinking about just keeping it on our phones, but this is gonna be fun because we'll be able to like, be like, oh, what was the size on that again? And we can both go check and see and see what dimensions are or, or check a drawing that Jamie wants me to put into the CNC and I can schedule that or do that, you know. Gina just popped in. She asked if we've gotten a lot of members. Um, I think we're at like a hundred and... We're probably about 160 now and we launched it like 10 o'clock at night, like a day ago. So, so yeah, I'd say that's, we're doing pretty good. We're excited. Our goal for the membership group is to hopefully be at a thousand members by the end of January. That will allow for us to hire a video editor. There's that, a transparent goal for you. Yeah, that is a transparent goal. If we can hit a thousand members in our paid channel membership, then we can hire a video editor, which would free up at least a minimum of 12 to 15 hours a week of Zeb's time. And well, if you know, more than that. yeah, <laughs> if you know my husband, like that is huge because he is like me, he's a productivity ninja, which that comes from. What's her name? Fun, cheap, or free? I don't yeah. know. That's her name. Uh, she's on YouTube. She talks about being a productivity ninja, but that amount of hours every week is huge and will allow us to do a ton more and do a lot more design work. Is, is something we're working to in 2019. I actually bought a sketchbook to keep by my bed so I can work on my new stencil designs and word cutouts. So I'm excited about that. Sorry, this the little leaves are taking longer. <laughs> We actually haven't used these transfers a ton. I think the more you use them, the faster you get. So I guess we'll practice. Well, I'm having, I think it's because the paint has ridges because the DIY paint is thick, but I could be wrong because it's stuck really well up here. It's just this little leaf right here is getting me. <laughs> um, Denise says she can see how the bubble you told us about works. A great tip. I, we can't take credit for that tip. We actually went to training with IOD and that was a tip from Sally and Josie. They said to ride the bubble. And if you ever watch them put transfers on, they're like, shoot. Yeah, they're done. And done. <laughs> uh, Vicky just got here. What is Zeb doing? We are applying an IOD transfer to our new planner that we created. It's made out of wood. And um, yeah, we're just doing a little uh, decor DIY for our planner. Jenna says, I painted some candlesticks white and put clear wax over them and an orange color came through. Is this bleed through and how can I fix it? I don't know without looking, but I would assume so. You're probably going to want to sand the wax off, spray it with uh, shellac and then repaint. Because if you shellac over that wax, the wax is going to resist the shellac and I think it's going to be a gummy mess. All right, lifting this up helped get that one off because it helped me peel the backer away as I press down. So now that I've got a lot of the transfer on there, 
Um, I'm able to do that without, <clears throat> sorry, I got it. Yeah, you're supposed to peel it up when you ride the wave. Much faster now, yeah. much faster. <laughs> Good job. Well, just on these leaves, it went pretty quick on the flower. Yeah, um, Tammy said, if it was a plastic binder, could you use the transfer? I think that you could, but it's off, it's off label use. And what that means is that it may work, it may not, I don't know. I would suggest um, using a cardboard or wooden binder is your best practice. But I don't see why it wouldn't stick. I just know that when we're done, we're gonna put a sealer over this and I don't know how that sealer would work over a plastic binder. Plus I wanted to paint it, so that's why we used wood. Queen Bee Trending Home Fashion says, finally cut us all live. That's why we do one live during the day and one live in the evening because we have people that are home and available during the day or they're in another country, so it's a completely different time zone. Yeah, I think someone mentioned earlier they were watching from London, but it's, it went by real quick. Yeah, or if we do it in the evening, then it's different times. Depends on where everybody's at. All right. Almost we're almost there. done. And then we'll, we'll do the grand reveal close-up so you guys can see it. And then we'll put this thing together. Um, I think that's going to take a little bit longer than, <laughs> than the than live video watch. allows. We'll show you guys on Saturday's live it all put together because I actually think we're going to need bigger binder. I don't think this little these little ones are going to work with the amount of paper that we have. Oh look, I've got a little overage here, so I'm going to I'm going to wrap that Go around. around. The edge. I'm going to wrap that around the edge here. Lost one somewhere. Ta -da! That is so pretty. All right, so not what I would have picked, but you know, for uh, <laughs> for Jamie Ray vintage binder, this will do. Maybe well, I'll draw some Star Wars guys cut on out the some inside. Words and show them how you can layer the words over the top of the flowers, because I know you like typography. I do. I do like it a lot. So I feel like that might be a good compromise. Okay, and this is sticking really well to my finger. <laughs> Like once you get these on here, they're, they're pretty well stuck and then you just seal them for durability since we're gonna be handling this a lot. All right, what words do we wanna do? So IOD is best for wood, yes. They, they say use it on wood. I actually have used them on windows and mirrors, but you can't seal it. So if you ever put it on a window or a mirror, just know that you're gonna have to be delicate when you're like cleaning them because you can't put a sealer over the top or it would not work as well. Um, Joanne, are the memberships open yet? Yes, they are open. How do you, how do they get the... So you can, you can either hit the join button if you're on a Apple or iOS device that basically uh, Macintosh, that's old. I don't think they've called it Macintosh in a long Apple. time. <laughs> um, it's dating me. But uh, if you're on one of those devices, there will be a link in this video after we're done. And we also have a announcement video. That was our video right before this, where there's a link in that video already if you want to get there and, and check it out. But you can just hit the join button and sign up. So here's the question somebody said, what's the difference between transfers over decoupage? First thing you're going to notice is that there's very little, I mean, it's, it's like thin, 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 thin and you're not gonna have a ridge between the painted part and the transfer, so it's gonna look more hand-painted. Second, ease of use. We didn't have to worry about air bubbles or decoupage gel or medium underneath. Um, and third, just the beauty of it and the way that it's cut out. If you had to cut out something like this and get the detail edge just perfectly, time. Like I, first of all, my ADD would kick in if I was cutting this out about from here to here, I would be done. So those are the main differences. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there's more differences than that, but off the top of my head, that's what I'd say. So where so do you where think, like, I, I'm thinking right here, just at the top, just go right on over mm. it. You think sideways? I don't know. Why, why are you using this instead of? Because this was a separate and then a comma, and I didn't think that whole thing would fit on there, so I didn't maybe do it. Maybe off, off-centered like that, and, and over it like. And like a little off-kilter. Yeah, why don't you ask them? Our lives are off-kilter. All right, so participation time. Comment if you think we should just put it centered up here on top, over on the side, somewhere like that. The whole word obviously isn't going to fit. I'm thinking about right like that with a little bit of uh, angle at it would be good. But so let us know. Kim had a qu across the middle at an angle, centered on top, catty wampus, leave it off. 
Nobody's saying the same thing. So Leave we'll, it off. We'll wait a <laughs> Don't minute. put it on at all. <laughs> uh, while we're waiting for people to respond, um, let's see. Kim says, how do you access the first printable? First, you have to join. And second, you have to go to the members only community, which is just a tab under Jamie Marie Vintage says community. You go in there. So if you're a member, it'll look like the rest of the tab, but it'll have a little members only um, designation on it. And the printable link is in there. Yeah, and the print so and then once you do that, then you just click the link and it will have like a password in community and you send in a password and it's a photograph, so you just save it and print it. Oh, and we got a new one, Jenna Phillips. All right, okay, so, so what are they saying? And slightly above. Angled and like that. Like that, like, like kind of like I had it. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so I think what would it look like across the bottom? I think we're gonna do that. That's good. I might actually put like some uh, molds on the bottom later. That's gonna be a heck of a binder yeah. to haul around. When we're all done, we're gonna take a uh, shop towel and burnish it, and that will help it adhere a little better, and then we'll seal it. So there, that's another tip. When you're done putting your transfers on, take a lint-free rag or shop towel and rub it on and burnish it, and that really helps it adhere to the paint. Angled or no text. Let's see, don't use it at all. But Tammy, this is our binder. <laughs> so, jo Joanne says angled would drive me mad. It would look like you tried to put it on straight and didn't quite make it. That's pretty much us. We're trying to be straight and we didn't quite make it. I'm gonna go slightly angled across the top. I'm committed, I always it's go stuck. angled because if you try to go perfectly straight, oh, it's stuck. Yeah. Yeah, we're, this is how it's going on. <laughs> it, it decided to stick down, so. <laughs> We're committed now. <laughs> well, this is how it's going. The good right. news is we only have to live with it for 2019. Yeah. Technically, we could also paint over it and just distress a little back through if I'm we wanted. I'm not going to do that. I'm thinking I'm going to add a few molds to it before we seal it. All right. Let me get a let me It get made a its going. own decision. It's going to well, be a happy accident. I had it rested on there, and then I touched it right, a couple so times. Then you need to just ride it. What are you doing? There's no riding. Yeah, I don't have to... a bubble yet. No. She's going to do it. Well, because you got to get it on there and then just pull it up. <laughs> okay, no, you do it. <laughs> you were right. I know better. <laughs> uh, if that were true. <laughs> uh, the name of the paint that we used is Bohemian Blue by DIY Paint. And explain the molds. So... I, do we have time? I don't know. All right. I don't I'll, think we could show them, but you could show them like doing it, but you could show the mold. I could show them doing it. What time is it? We got 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Where's the paper clay at? You talk to them, I'll get the paper clay. Where is the paper clay, Jeff? Do you know? Uh, not a clue right now. <laughs> it was not on my radar for a project this morning. All right, so I'm just working this little eye here. I've got the eye on there pretty well. I think I can almost get a little bit of a bubble going. Oh, let's see, paper clay. She found it, she found the paper clay. So, what are some of your guys' goals this uh, for 2019? We've got a few in, our, in the member, um, community post that people have been saying lots of fun ideas there that we'll discuss at length but goals for 2019 where do you guys want to be at at the end of 2019 maybe comment below or or just if you're watching the replay or comment live here let's see what people are up to i just want to make sure that the mold i'm using isn't sold out so i can take it out of stock well Wait. don't we have the mermaid one you yeah can but just i want to use the mermaid one i want to use a different oh. one Oh, wings, new member. Wings and feathers. Belinda Not Stonehen. out of stock, so I can... Okay, so let me just adjust this by a negative one. JF, make lots of money. Excellent goal. Okay. <laughs> Whenever I use products, I have to remember to take them out of stock. All right, so we're going to use the IOD wings and feathers mold. And we have our IOD paper clay, air dry clay. Here's the mold open and you can also use resin but i'm not very good at measuring the way zeb is and he's busy so i'm gonna use paper clay because that's how i know how to use 
Somebody says, what are we making? We're making a planner. If you want to see it finished. Watch nothing. Saturday Night Live. Watch. Did you say hello to Belinda Stoneham? I did. Oh, good. Okay. Watch on Saturday and we'll show it to you all finished. So this is the paper clay. With this paper clay, you want to make sure you're keeping it in the bag. It's very dry. If yours gets dried out, I heard that you can put like a wet wipe in there and that will help moisten it back up again. So these ones are actually kind of shallow, which is perfect because, hold on, that was all dried out. Because I then I won't have like a huge piece coming. They're all different dimensions. So the molds are not like all one height. They're different heights. I'm just gonna push this down in there. And the other cool thing about these molds, and I should tell you guys, I'm not like a mold professional. I don't use them a ton. Um, the other thing about these molds is they have this ridge on the end which helps you for making it flat and getting it nice and even. So these molds are created by IOD and they're made to put on furniture, home decor, what have you. And I like to put the mold in there and then take it right out. And I've done this about 10 times in my entire life. So I'm definitely not a mold professional. If you are a mold professional, you can comment with tips and tricks on how to use clay in your mold. I am going to put this back in there so that way it's not drying out. Push that in there. I wonder if I use a, a rolling pin. Oh, there you go, maybe. <laughs> All right, guys, we're trying something new. Because I don't have my, yeah, that works pretty good. I don't have the, what's that called, scraper? Oh, yeah. So I just want to take off all the excess of my mold. All right, Zeb, you're better at this than I am. How am I gonna get this excess? Wait, I can't do all the crafts today. You have to do all the crafts. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take the leaves out and then I'm just gonna peel it off. So when you take these out of the mold and you, you're gonna wanna roll your mold like so. So that way, cause they're, the clay is very soft still. It's not like set up or anything. You're gonna get the impression. To me, it reminds me of playing with Play-Doh, which I do a lot. Sally and Josie are watching, they're gonna die because they're like, that's not how you do it. So another goal of mine for 2019 is to get the garage cleaned out and keep it that way. Cause we've not managed for like the last six Zeb months to even have more than like a four by eight space for me to work in there. Because of the ridge, you can almost kind of just pull along the edge if you don't take off the excess before you peel it out. Ta-da! See, pretty easy. That is patent pending, that edge. You're not gonna find that on anybody else's molds. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Me too. I'm being quiet. We need like music or something in the background. Well, and I asked everybody what their 2019 goals were, so as soon as you're done with that, you need to look at them. Okay, I'm just peeling off the edge here. All right, there you go. Can you guys see the leaf? That's one. Oops, I smooshed this one with my hand. Let me peel the other one and then I'll check goals. And then we'll glue it on. The thing about these molds is when they dry, they will crack over time. Um, if you're using paper clay and you can fill those with putty or just leave the cracks if you want a more vintage look. And we like to use them right away. So I'm gonna grab some wood glue here in a little bit. And then once it's dry, we can paint it, which we won't be painting on this live video because you guys don't want to sit here for 20 minutes while it dries or however long it takes. Okay, <laughs> there's the other leaf. Ta-da! Can you guys see that? There we go. All right, let's see goals. While he's doing that, let's see goals. Oh. I don't see anybody commenting on their goals. No goals commenting. <laughs> I want to make a back plate for my new dresser hardware. What should I use for material? Epoxy. I would use um, resin. We carry a two-part resin. We used to do back plates all the time in molds, and that works really well. Or we have a stamp that you can just stamp the back plate on if you want like a play on a back plate. <laughs> Tammy says, that was so nice of you to just grab the mold and show us. You're welcome. <laughs> I figure if you ask for it and something I can do, I will. And the, the proof is in the pudding, you guys. If I can do it, anybody can do it because really I don't use molds a whole ton. I was gonna start here real soon. 
So you can we'll either, get all practice stuff. Yeah, you can either take a, like a scraper and scrape along the edge because it does have that ridge that's on it, or like I said, it puts a little ridge and you can just pull it off the edge. And these are gonna go, these leaves will go here on that. And then I'll paint them. Probably should have done it before I put the transfer on, but that's okay. So oh, I think it's all right. Afterwards. All you do when you're, especially since this is a flat surface, all you have to do is put your glue across the bottom of your mold that you've just taken out your paper clay and let it air dry. If this was a vertical surface, you would very lightly use painter's tape to hold it in place while that dries. If you're using resin for your molds, then you're going to wind up using E6000, we found is the best way to attach those. And because they're a little bit more sturdy, you can clamp those on if it's a vertical surface yeah. instead of using tape, or you can even um, like nail, like drill and nail them on. Okay. Oh, Michelle B says she wants to have a workshop by the end of summer. That's a good goal. Maybe Me we'll too. Some... Me too, Michelle. You want to do a workshop? <laughs> no. Oh, like a like a teaching class workshop. I'm thinking like workshop to build in. Oh, maybe she... <laughs> Michelle. Do you mean like build a workshop or hold a workshop? Let us know. Uh, Sharon Keene says that we were her inspiration to go for it when the booth became available. Watching your Saturday Night Lives even got her husband on board. There's the ticket. Getting you having a partner is really helpful. Um, Janine says my goal is to clean my bedroom closet. I know I have some craft supplies antiques in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about bedroom closets. Yesterday we decided to go sledding. And I pulled out my, well, I tried to pull out my snow pants and I couldn't find them. And I know I have snow pants. So I actually had to buy new snow pants. So as we're um, organizing and getting ready for this next year, I'm hoping that by knowing where things are, I won't buy things that I already own. And even just, I don't know if you guys have watched our video on organizing my paint closet, but even just having that organized has helped save us so much money because I know where things are and I'm not opening up paint that I already have open or buying ribbon that I already have because it's all there and I can find it quickly. So fun story about the uh, not being able to find the, the uh, snow pants. What she did find was all the life jackets and the stuff for the lake and, and the beach. And she's like, it's a sign, Zeb. It's a sign. I can't do winter. Uh, I can only find so much stuff. <laughs> Let me find some glue. I'll show them how to put glues on that. You are... Well, it's because each letter is kind of individual on this. It probably would have been easier had I left it as like a whole transfer, but because we're layering it, it's like each letter has the sticky on it. So I'm, I can't ride the wave quite as well on the letters, but it's still working and, and it's going to look awesome. We'll, we'll hang out here till I get this done, which might be a little longer than our normally scheduled live videos, but you know, it's all right. Well, Jack's not at preschool, so I have to take it off. All right, yep. so this is our wood glue. We keep it in this ketchup container because we buy it by the gallon. So I'm just going to put some across the back. I don't know, maybe. Can you pull that lid off? Maybe. Might be glued on. Uh, Queen Bee Trending says she doesn't do winter either. <laughs> yeah. Zeb wanted to go out last night to get supplies for this. I'm like, I really just don't see myself leaving the house. But She's like, I've already been out today. It's like my one time a year in well, the winter that I'm going to go out. So you're out of luck. Yesterday was the coldest day of the week. Like we're going to get up to the 40s the rest of the week. 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Yesterday was like 15. Yeah. <laughs> and we went sledding and that was freezing. Well, we went up the mountain. It was like 12 degrees up there with the wind blowing like crazy. You probably should use like a popsicle stick to smear this. But, you know, you know me. Or are you going to put it on there before you paint it? Rebel. No, that's how you do it, Zeb. Oops. What a rebel. Well, I'm just right, worried that there. you're going to paint your leaves. Um, don't worry. I'm going to use a little tiny paintbrush. All right. Don't worry. I got this. I can paint it right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um, one of the things that you can also do, if you get a little bit of a lip between the edge of your mold and your surface and you're worried about that, you can shove paint underneath it, especially the clay paint works because it's thick and buildable, or you can use a little bit of putty, like, not putty, lightweight spackle, and you can put it along the edge. All right, this one, I don't know how I had this one. This one's going up that way. That's where it's going, because it's down. All right, I'm gonna go get a little brush. 
gonna get this painted. Denise says, now Denise from Denise is from Utah. She's one of my local natives, and she says, I wish we could just skip winter and go directly to spring. The only problem with spring is, oh, it's windy. Lots of rain in the spring up here too. I don't mind rain. Can you give me the bohemian blue? So I'm going to paint this the same color as the background. And then when it's dry, I will come back with probably some white wax and white wax. All right. Wax. I want to show them this because this is kind of a mis You want to show them this first. is just kind of a mistake that happened because I messed with it too much before. So when I was like positioning it around, it lost some of the sticky backer. So you kind of want to have where you want it to go pretty well in mind before you do it because I touched it too much and some of these letters are not wanting to go down and then some letters actually stuck when I couldn't get it back up. So keep in Actually, mind. it's okay because we're going to distress it and make it look all old. Yeah, it's going to look great for ours, but if you're one of those people that are like, oh man, that doesn't, that I didn't get the whole thing on there. It's not sticking. What's going on? That is why I'm having kind of some of the issues because I moved it too much kind of showing you guys where we wanted to position it. And I should have just like set it down once or just like let it hover over it before I let it touch because I lost some of my stickiness. So this is still a little bit like soft because it's not dry. So I'm very softly just painting this mold because I don't want to lose the detail in it. And Kai Love, that's Janice, right? Mm -hmm. Kai Love said that she wants to get proficient at social media to promote her um her booth and her retail space. That is a huge thing. We are, so we have the Jamie Ray Vintage, but we also are admins and I just got handed over a group that has about 30,000 local members called Home Decor Yard Sale. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm gonna be doing some things with that to kind of help promote my local retail space. And then um, we have a few other things we're gonna be doing in the new year, but I'll let you guys know how that goes. I would suggest starting a local buy sell trade group and being the admin of it and really offering some extra benefits, maybe some encouragement or whatever to get people to join. Because when you're an admin of a group, you can do what you want, meaning I'm gonna use this to promote my retail space. And you can break I, all the rules. Basically, do as I say, not as I do. No, <laughs> no, when you run a group, especially with 30,000 members, there's a lot of work. So I always just explain to the members of my group hey, this is a lot of extra work and my only payment is I get to promote my store. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it's a lot of It's kind of like our Jamie Ray Facebook. Vintage group on, on, on Facebook yeah. that we have. Only this is just a local, and I've been an admin of this group for many, many years and the head admin just asked if I wanna take it over. All right, we'll show you this up close here in a little bit. I'm just painting it. Using a little brush like this is awesome for if you've already painted and transferred something and it's keeping the paint where I want it to be and getting it all in the details. This is just our watercolor brush that we use. You probably could also use the French, the little French you would work too. But this is just what I had handy at the time. All right, I am going to show them what this looks like. You can't like. show them because I'm not done painting. Oh, okay. Just a minute. Is the glue already set up enough? Yeah. One of the things I would suggest if you guys are wanting to grow your social media is to go on Pinterest and pin all the pretty pictures, all the things you like. Then look at your own social media and try to see if there's a way that you can create similar content for your page. Because when I started really focusing on making my pictures pretty and decorating my home and you know taking pictures, people want to know what goes on in your daily life. So I started taking everyday pictures and things like that. That's when my social media, especially Instagram, really started growing. And it really wasn't that hard. Um, if you use Snapseed to edit your photos and you get a good camera, like a good, like I have an iPhone 10, you can just take pictures with your phone. Lighting is important, background, all those things. All right, all right you got that painted? Go. Yep. Okay, it's going to be a different color dark. because it's wet. So it'll dry. This is what the boho blue looks like wet. It'll dry to be this color here. So someone asked, let's see, how big, I lost you in the chat, but... How big is the planner going to be? This is going to be, um, this is 12 inches tall by nine and a quarter inches wide. And it'll probably be about an inch and a half thick when we're all done. And so. we might decorate the back of the planner too. So and we'll then, show it to you on our Saturday Live, which is 8.30 Utah time. So don't miss that so you can see the final release. And we bought these. I don't think we showed them this. These book rings 
are what we're gonna use to hold it all together. They came in a pack of eight. There's like some small ones and then some big like two inch ones. And we're using the two inch ones. And I, the hole I drilled is a quarter inch hole in the wood. And that's perfect to give you like enough flex, but not so much that it's real floppy. And let me show them burnishing it real quick, because that's important right. with these transfers. Burnish it, and then we'll uh, we'll sign out here. Oh, good thing that I have one shop towel left. All right, so burnishing is important. You're gonna want to do this before you seal, and you can seal these with wax or a liquid sealer. Um, nothing that's too toxic. If you use a very toxic chemical type sealer, it doesn't work too well with the transfers. Also make sure your paint's pretty dry. Our paint wasn't very dry. That's probably some of your problem because we just barely painted it. So wait a couple hours. Anyways, I'm just pushing down on this and making sure that the transfers adhered really well. But if you use a super toxic uh, sealer, you may have problems with adhesion. Water-based so is what you want. Yeah, water-based. I used uh, DIY's Big Top. I used um, Sweet Pickens Top Coat. Those all work very well with it. And all I'm doing, if you guys are wondering, is just burnishing it very softly, making sure I'm not peeling up edges, adhering this to my piece. All yeah. right. Our other mistake, Zeb, was you need to wait a few hours for the paint to dry completely. <laughs> oh, Jennifer Baum figured out how to use the, uh, the emoji. Let me see. Oh, I love it. We'll have a whole, uh, like our first live video that we do for the, uh, the member the members is we'll have like a how to use all your your stuff that you're getting oh that would be a good one all right and our live videos will probably wind up being on tuesdays because that's the only day we don't mm -hmm. already do content for the channel but the thing about the live videos that we're going to be doing for the members only um is that you can watch them anytime so you don't have to watch them yeah. just that day yeah you can watch them later all right done we're gonna let this dry definitely check back oops <laughs> Don't want to put my elbow in it. Definitely check back with us Saturday at 8.30 Utah time. We will show you our completed binder and even show off some of the things we've written in it and goals for 2019. If you want to get this paint, we've used Bohemian Blue. This is the Flora Parenthesis, Parenthesis I can't even say it, transfer. And then we use the IOD paper clay as well as the feather mold. So you can pick all that up at jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. See you guys.